What's up, everybody? I'm gonna make a quick little video here. I'm just gonna do a drive or two just to get a little warm up before I go against the 129 in LVL. My script is usually the same. I'm gonna go with bunch flanker drive. I'm gonna look for the deep ball. Everybody frowns upon that, but if you do it right, it works. Um, Tyron Matthew is definitely that's who I'm gonna be looking at. That's uh, my only read is what I'm gonna look for. Uh, if he goes below that yellow line, or to the left, I'm throwing a deep. If he goes anywhere else, I'm not throwing a deep. I'll scramble. I'll throw it away. I'll even take a sack before I throw it in interception. So he went deep. So I'm gonna take the free scramble, slide. I'm gonna go with play action. Switch it up a little bit. Pin deep. I'm going to look for... This is uh, main coverage. So I'm going to look for Moss or um, Ingram in the flat. You can go to Rice deep depending on what this cornerback does. He's either going to go up with the, corner, with the wide receiver or he's going to go into the flat with the tight end. Now if he goes into the flat, I'm not throwing it. I'm going to scramble. Some people like to throw it to Rice deep. See, he covered the flat, and that defensive end got over there in a hurry. So that was definitely uh, a risky play. T trips tight end, quick slants. This is ideal coverage. We want to hit Ingram in the flat. Moving the ball a little bit down the field. I'm going to go with PA slide. I'm going to look for Ingram, if he gets jammed up, I'm going to Gurley in the flat. He got jammed up, so I hit Gurley. We're at the 25. I'm going to go with Trips tight end deep attack. Uh, this is possibly countered. I'm going to be look. The only read I'm looking for is Rice. You got to if that cornerback stays over there. You got to throw a bullet because if you throw it any kind of soft, it's going to get picked off. Trips tight end halfback counter. This is not countered. This is dime formation. The ideal way to run this play is to the left outside the tackle. Yeah, I know they got it inside, but you, that's the ideal way. But sometimes with dime coverage, this cornerback shoots the outside. So you got to go inside. You got to make a real quick. Uh, split decision and he went outside but my um, offensive lineman actually picked up the block so that was cool they really don't like the block in this game so the perfect goal line uh, play for if you're within the six yard line is uh, fullback flare you just flip it throw it to him he's going to be open the linebackers don't cover him for whatever reason EA made that play, they don't get covered. So we got that going. And I'm going to see if I can get my bombs going here. Because we're going against uh, number 18 in the world. So they live counter and they got all the all the good like short plays covered. So I'm gonna have to try and go deep. Basically I'm going deep. I'm gonna try and go deep. It depends on what Matthew does. If he goes up if he goes down below the yellow line or to the left, I'm throwing it. If he does anything else, I'm gonna take the sack, throw it away scramble anything but throw a pick <laughs> so he went to the left so i set my blocks give uh, newton a little bit more time out there so now we just chopped off the whole field i like pa uh, weak pa ipa post in this situation basically i'm just looking for the free scramble you hold it to a 45 degree angle you don't have to hit the scramble button and you get an easy touchdown. 
This is countered. Anytime you see, if you're within the six yard line or on a two point conversion, if you don't see everybody on the line, it's countered. Not that it really, <laughs> when you're running, when you're running the, the toss, it, it really doesn't matter if you recognize the counter or not. But it does help when you're trying to score and you're on the five yard line and you see that you're getting countered. Maybe you could throw it away real quick or, instead of taking a sack or, you know, there's other options. All right, I'm going to try the same thing here. Gonna again, gonna look at what Matthew does. If he goes to the left, which he did, I set my blocks, I throw it deep. And we get it for 22. See if we get a 24. Oh, how do we get 20? Oh, I must have got a safety. Oh. Don't know what happened with that spin move. And that's all he got. <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to go right into this uh, 129 here. <laughs> he kept hitting all my counters. Usually in head-to-head, -head they... Uh... Oh, look at that. I made it to silver. Yeah, silver two. <laughs> so, let's see if we can um, translate this into any kind of points here. We're going to go with Cooper. Cooper's open, 129 defense. They got, these guys got all... Golden ticket teams. <laughs> they got every golden ticket player there is. So I'm going deep. I'm going to look right here. I should have it. I'm going to look 138, Ronnie Lott. <laughs> oh, that. Do you see how fast that defensive end got over there? All right, we got ourselves a one play. Banger! Got to hurry up and get in there so they don't counter me. Come on. Come on. Where is he at? If you could get in there before he changes the plays, the counters won't take effect until the next drive. So he can counter me on the third drive, which he probably will. This guy's been live countering all day and night. <laughs> There's a reason why they're ranked number 18. Let's see if I got it in time. Yeah, he didn't counter me. So basically what I'm going to look for is what 138 Ronnie Lott does. If he goes under the line or to the left, I'm throwing it deep. If not, I'm going to find something else to do with the ball. He went to the left. And there it is. Another one. And this is countered because they're not all sitting at the line. So we're going to try and get through again, see if uh could avoid the live counter here. Even though he's only got one play, but he's probably going to go with all uh, go routes or something like that. And if so, then I'll just go with play action and run the ball. <clears throat> I could do many things. I If I could take the, the easy... For sure, you know, not for sure, but if I could take that that good chance of getting that uh, big play, I'm going to take it, just like they do in the NFL. They see man-on-man -man with Julio Jones deep, they're going to take it. And he didn't live counter me. So, again, I'm going to look to see what Locke does. If he goes to the left or below the line, I'm throwing it deep. 
He went to the left. I'm throwing it deep. Come on, Newton, catch that. Yes, sir. So I'm going to go with... We are at the 10. I'm going to go weak eye PA post, and I'm going to look for the free scramble. And I'm just going to hit the scramble because I want this three TDs. And that's, boom, done on a 129. Making things look easy around here. All right, fellas. That was my time for today. If you guys want me to do anything, uh, just leave a comment at the bottom. I know this is a brand new channel. I'm just now trying to work this out. So I'm going through the kinks, but I will uh, have it up and going and try and help anybody I can. Thanks.